Indian's musical play, including Water Notes, the longest running play in the history of theatres in India. Moving on to film, he lost a lot of roles through the life. He played a supporting role in a popular film like Do Kacha, Company, Corporates, Taranampam, Sarkar Films. Welcome, sir. He is a teacher and Anpar researcher. He is teaching planning theory, housing, humanities in Kamla Raja Vidyanidhi Institute of Architecture in Mumbai. His research work has focused on urban history, infrastructure planning, politics of land and housing, sustainable transport. He writes frequently with the known and popular phrase, planning policies. He is the founder of collective subtle alternatives and he is the co-convener of the citizen group Amchi Mumbai Amchi Batch, the citizen forum for a public transport that has been advocating for reliable and affordable public transport in Mumbai. Welcome, sir. <coughs> and I like your concept, Amchi Amchi Batch. Onir, sir, everybody knows Onir, sir, is an Indian film and TV director, editor, screenwriter, producer. He is known for his films. My brother Nikhil, based on the life of Dominic Risoda, starring as Sanjay Suri. Nikhil, he was one of the first mainstream Hindi films who deals with the AIDS and same-sex relationship. Onisar has won the award for his film I Am, and he won more than 13 total film awards. Welcome, sir. Mrs. Sandra Shaw. She is the vice Chairman UPLC is also leading the Environment Technology Limited, uh, Baruj Environment Infrastructure Limited as a director. She has also contributed a lot to the uh, Indian chemical industry, actively promoted a social infrastructure in the hospitals and schools. She renownedly established the institute that are ranking among the best in South Kudra. She is also president of the Urban Association of India and I am honored to be a member of the National Integrated Council which is attended by the Prime Minister and chaired by the Home Minister of India. Welcome, ma'am. <laughs> Nijaswini Kolapuriji, a model and actor, she was played a key role in several TV serials and lead roles in Bollywood movies including Ugly, Mumbai Cutting, Salt Paper, Anjali, etc. Welcome, ma'am. There is a certain question, the first which comes previously, that the questions comes to me also to ask the author panelists differently. But before your question, which is there on my paper, I will definitely ask the panelists, but I want to share something. In the beautiful necklace, which is the Indian Peninsula from Kutch to Sundarban, the entire necklace, the smallest seven island city is Mumbai which is generating the 31% income tax revenue for India, 28% revenue for Indian railways, the world's largest railway. 70 lakhs is the floating population of the city, which is more than the one Pune city or Ahmedabad city population, people comes daily and goes back. The history of Mumbai development is not those 150 years back when this all land fields are made and the green necklace was created. But if you go further, 500 years, the ports of Marathas, Portuguese, uh, also gives us the, uh, how the city is all. Or you can go further in 3000 years back, the Elephantas and Kangri Caves shows the development of Mumbai. So such a great potential city in the South Asia, which gives a job and opportunity to everybody. At the same time, this city is having a 50% of forest, a 400 square kilometer city, which is having a 100 square kilometer in the forest, and it's not a small forest. 
which we are calling as the SGNC Sanjay Gandhi National Park, which we are talking today, the relevant with RA. This forest is having the world's highest flora and fauna, 1350 species, which is in second highest in Kenya and only 650. So just consider the how rich forest we are having. That's not ending with that. We are having a world's largest leopard population with 250 species of birds and 162 species of butterfly in the center of the city. There are the Mumbai girls. Four rivers which are originating from this city, but our mangroves are forests are also as rich as Sundarbans because this mangroves is still having the golden jackal and the fishing cat and the nine beautiful beaches around the Mumbai. ये उस बात के गवाह है कि आज भी उसमें डॉल्फिन विजिट करती है, मरीन लाइफ आज भी है, and of course the 63,000 million years old Gilbert Hill is also. So now there is a question start. कि वन इस डी एनवायरनमेंट, the great environment, this Western Ghat Island is having at the same time the great potential which we are looking for the 500 trillion economy. जिसका पूरा भार इस शहर पे आने वाला है कि इसके बीच में हमको क्या चाहिए कैसे सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट करना है कि ये इकोनॉमी और इकोलॉजी दोनों साथ में जा सकते हैं इसके बाद भी जो अभी सबको क्वेश्चंस करने हैं बट बी देयर कि वी आर वन फ्रॉम कच्छ टू नागालैंड ओनली द टोटल डिफरेंट कल्चर this country is talking about the Jainism, but Nagaland is having the world largest insect pida market, which is the culture of Mahaka. We all have a flag down below. There is so much biodiversity on the land, and our culture is also a diversity. But we are also in our constitution, our law, and with this, we are down below the one flag, which we are proud of as an Indian. We all are proud. So when we discuss it, this is just a view of which whether we are agreed with each other or not, but we are discussing the views. Because we are Mumbai ko ban karke Andaman ka sanitary island nahi bana sakte ki ya further development nahi hoga city ban hoyegi. So we have to catch both. Hamara leopard jo vipta hai hamara jungle mein jo world's largest population hai. At the same time, hamari five trillion economy kaise aage ban? उसके क्वेश्चंस मैं आपकी ओर से कुछ रखूंगा देन विल तो मैं पहले जैसे स्टार्ट किया था कि मारने वाले से बचाने वाला हमेशा बड़ा होता है और उसपे काम करना चाहिए और अश्विनी मैम ने भी पूरा प्रेजेंटेशंस बहुत अच्छी दिलर दिया है पर मैम आपने ये तो बता दिया कि आपने छह साइट्स में से आरे को क्यों सिल और इतना अच्छा हम हमको हमारे डेमोक्रेसी पे बिल्ली है हमारे लॉ पे बिल्ली है पर सेडनली पांच बजे ही एक जजमेंट आता है और इमीडिएटली रात को जाड काटे जाते हैं कि एक फीलिंग हमारे ऐसा मुंबई का हो गया है कि ये जनरल डायर एक्शन जगह आपने राइट टाइम दिया होता तो बर्ड्स की सुबह उठ जाते और रेटेल्स वहाँ से मूव हो जाते but a sudden decision to take a long time to take a long time. I agree, we all believe in our law. We don't have our personal property for the city. But what was the reason for taking a long time to take a long time to take a long time? I have a little bit of a reply to this matter. Point is that... If you want to take a long time, if you don't have a heckling, then it's good. Yes, it's good. Please, I think this is not the way to be a place. Don't heckle. She has the right to her answer. You have the right to ask questions when the question answer session begins. See, at the outset, let me tell you, this matter is always been going on. Because we have discussed this matter. Because we have discussed this matter. This matter is already going on. So, I won't be that vocal and clear on any of the issues because the matter is already there in the court. I will just reply factually. This case, this is not a sudden case. We are fighting this battle for past four years. And uh, people didn't allow me to present it fully, but uh, there was a slide where how many court cases were done. There was a case in NGT. There were attempts to get this area. I'm not talking about the total area. I'm talking only about these 30 hectares. 
to get it declared as forest, which was the attempts were not successful, neither in NGT. There was a high court judgment by Justice Bhandari uh, given in uh, October 2018, where this issue was again read upon the merit. In a 100 page judgment, it has been made very clear that we can go ahead with this uh, project. Request was made to declare this area as forest. Request was made to ship the current airport to some other place. Request was made to stop the work. The court didn't agree because the claims could not be substantiated. There was an SLP filed in Supreme Court against that order. That SLP has not been followed up for the past one year. Against that, one interlocutory petition was moved before Supreme Court in this April, April 2019, where a specific request was made to Supreme Court that there are nine other alternatives. MMRC may be directed to choose one of them and stop the work at Ali. Supreme Court didn't agree. So, I guess this case, we have stopped our work, which was started in 2015, had to be kept back. I mean, we had to withdraw it, withdraw the uh, contract also. The work was stopped for past four, uh, four and a half years. This time, court, it was, the judgment was, the verdict was given. There was absolutely no request for any stay. And then, since we have waited for so long, and there was, the Supreme Court matter was also not uh, pursued. The moment the judgment came, immediately the immediate action was started. It never started in the night. It started uh, immediately after the court as per the advice of our lawyers. And another thing, we are having the depot is required to receive the first train, which is expected in next November. And we have actually, we need two years to complete the depot. Right now, we just have left one year. So earlier we start the work, it happens. And we are going as per uh, the law. So as per law, our action was legal. I agree, man. Aapvi, uh, 8 ghanta as an officer, 16 ghanta hamari tada Mumbai girls common citizens hai. Aur is jo bhi 8 ghanta agar delay ho jata pura project. So, it is not going to be a good thing, but we don't go in that deep. But one thing is that if you have a good thing, it is the entry point. If you have a good thing, you can get a good thing, and 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 उसके ऊपर भी गवर्नमेंट नहीं आएगी या आगे उसको नहीं करेगी। This is this is a very very important. अगर आपको प्रॉब्लम है कि वहाँ होगा तो उस इशू पे गवर्नमेंट से पूछना चाहिए और गवर्नमेंट से जवाब देना चाहिए। आप एक 30 हेक्टर की जमीन है जो पब्लिक प्रोजेक्ट के लिए बन रही है। ये कोई मेरा पर्सनल काम नहीं है so many lives are going to get saved, so many families, so much of family time is going to be gained. So this is a public project, land is being used for public project. If there are issues, whether this is uh, going to be an uh, entry point for other projects, that has to be raised at a proper forum in a proper way. Now, how a city is developed, there is something called development plan. <laughs> development plan defines which area to be used for what. This whole area is a no development zone, an eco-sensitive zone. So if there are issues, if there are certain apprehensions, then they, they, they need to be raised to appropriate for Mumbai Metropolitan Corporation, Ashwini Pire can't answer each and every year for So we don't answer. So I personally feel that there is absolutely no reason to believe that because are a, the depot is happening, so this is an entry point and this is uh, getting. Because for so many years the land is there, the thick Inside RA, that thick forest, the thick green cover is still there. And if still people may have apprehensions, but they need, they need to be raised at appropriate forum and answers to be obtained from the right places. Thank you, ma'am. Swarab, sir, the advertising agencies, because in 2014 uh, 11 there was a plan in 2004 there were some drawings, drawings made, there was a survey, there was a whole work done. और अभी पब्लिक बाहर आ रही है कि भाई ये काम नहीं होना चाहिए अटकना चाहिए नुकसान तो सिटीजन्स का है जिसके हार्डन मनी लगा हुआ है एडवर्टाइजिंग फील्ड का होने के कारण कोई भी जो नया प्रोजेक्ट आता है उसमें सिटीजन का पार्टिसिपेशन इन्वॉल्वमेंट कैसे हो 
कि प्रोजेक्ट चालू होने से पहले टेंडरिंग होने से पहले उसके जो भी चेंजेस है या कंसेंस है वो कंप्लीट किए जाए क्योंकि लोगों को पता ही नहीं है और सडनली एक ग्रुप आता है दो ग्रुप आता है और हम चाहते हैं कि मुंबई संघाई बने हांगकॉन्ग बने सिंगापुर बने और एट द सेम टाइम यहां का दूसरे प्रॉब्लम जो थे तो एडवर्टाइजिंग क्या हेल्प कर सकते हैं सो दिस इज नॉट रियली अ क्वेश्चन फॉर एडवर्टाइजिंग बिकॉज़ द एजेंसी वुड डू इन द गवर्नमेंट वाज माय क्लाइंट टू डू एन एजेंसी कैंपेन फ्रॉम द गवर्नमेंट पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू द सिटीजन वुड माय क्लाइंट टू डू अ कैंपेन फ्रॉम द सिटीजन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू So advertising does not get into what is right and what is wrong. We, if we announce, if we advertise for a product, we make sure that what our client is telling us has been tested. It's the truth, and we are not telling a lie. That's all advertising agencies concerned with. And with our limited knowledge, we normally go with what the clients show us. We, if I was an advertising agency and if I had just seen Mrs. Mehta's presentation. I would be really happy to advertise for the government. So I was quite convinced with her logic that she gave that whatever she is doing is right. If tomorrow, if you were helping here, they made a presentation here of a similar kind, and if I agreed with that, I would go with that. I think what happens here in a debate like this is there are very strong views on both sides, and people tend to lose sight of logic because it is not about environment or development on one side and. Uh, Fight against development and environment. It's a, I think what I understood right now is it's a fight about should the metro shed be there or not. It's not about should the metro. Be there.
want her to make this presentation to the BMC because everything that was being said here, uh, the opposite of that was being said in the, uh, as arguments for the postal road project. So it's, you know, it's amazing that uh, uh, the MMRCA doesn't talk to the BMC. In fact, um, so it's, uh, you know, uh, and it's interesting that the Metro DPR does provide these very strong arguments in favor of public transport and that is more or less what we were saying in court uh, to challenge the post road project. Um, so nothing to disagree with in terms of the importance of the uh, of, uh, Metro or any public transport systems. Uh, she did mention that it is a green project. So um, yeah, in, uh, in a way it is, it is, because if you look at, for instance, the best way to understand the impacts of um, uh, any mode of transportation, one good way is to look at the energy cost per passenger kilometer, which basically means how much energy is required to move one passenger per kilometer on a particular mode of transport. So if you take the suburban rail, uh, it is the most uh, sustainable, because it is 25 pesos per passenger kilometer. Uh, if you take the bus system, it's uh, twice that much. It's about 50 pesos per passenger kilometer. If you take the metro, it's 2 rupees per passenger kilometer. But if you take the private automobile, a four-wheeler, it's 10 rupees per passenger kilometer. So, I mean, there is no debate there. It's, uh, it's true that metros are much, much better, five times better than the uh, than, uh, private vehicles. Um, so, the question really is, as um, was pointed out earlier, is whether the metro car share, um, whether RA is the right location for the metro car share. And I, again, I agree and I trust um, the government when they say they looked at the other options. However, one option, according to the metro DPR, was the Bandarpola complex land. Now, this land is public land. Uh, we must remember that the BTC was created by reclaiming the floodplain of Mickey River, which actually was. Um, one of the main reasons why the floods in 2005 happened. Uh, that damage has already been done. That land is available. But the reason for rejecting the uh, Pandapurla complex site was that it is commercially too valuable. Uh, now, that is something which is actually, uh, you know, I mean, to me at least it's scandalous that the city has prioritized uh, the commercial value of land in Pandapurla complex and uh, and uh, and have gone ahead and decided to build it in RA. Um, that being said, now why is RA important? Um, of course, in court there were arguments that it's a forest, uh, there were arguments that there are many trees, but there's a deeper uh, uh, aspect that one needs to think about. You see, if you look at the topography of the city of Bombay, the Sanjay Gandhi National Park is not just a forest, it's also a hilly core of the Sansa Island. The island of Salsa. And RA is immediately proximate, it's contiguous with the Santa Gandhi National Park. This hilly core is the source of all the major rain fed rivers in the city. Uh, in fact, if you look at the, if you examine the topography, you will realize that the uh, Mithi River catchment and the Oshivara River catchment are fed, the, those two rivers are fed uh, to a large extent by the RA colony. Now, Ari Colony historically as a dairy farm uh, is a very low development, uh, intensity development area. So, the, uh, this area in fact feeds these two major rivers. Now, if you carry out any kind of projects on these upper catchment areas, they have serious down, uh, downstream implications because um, any kind of construction will change the surface runoff patterns. Uh, groundwater percolation will not happen. It will also affect the uh, groundwater recharge. So these have to be studied very carefully before any decision is made. It's not only about wind cutting. Of course, that's very important, but it's not limited to that. Um, now, what has also happened, if you look at it historically, that area was, when it was formed, it was about 1,280 uh, hectares of land. And successively over development plans, this area has been eaten up and you know given away to other institutions. The latest development plan of Bombay, in fact, has only uh, demarcated 800 hectares of RA as a green zone. And the green zone, in fact, allows projects uh, 
uh, with the permission, you know, uh, that the government wants to build with the clearance, by getting clearance of the MOEA. So, even though RA talked about it as 1,287 hectares, today, effectively, on our development plans, it's only 800 hectares. Uh, and this includes the deductions for the metro car shed and the SOA and r, &R projects. Uh, also, if you look at the way in which these uh, sites are located, uh, the film city and the um, royal palms, in fact, were built on between RA and the Sanjay Gandhi National Park. If you look at these three reservations for the metro car shed, the zoo, and the RNR, they are immediately below it, which means that the national park is being completely sliced off from, from RA colony. Now, that is very serious because what it means is the movement of wildlife will get affected. Um, the uh, RA will be carved off from the national park, and eventually, over time, more and more land will be then taken up for other projects. And uh, uh, Ms. Bede is right when she says that this she is not answerable for all of these other projects, but we have to think about these projects cumulatively, not, you know, I'm only talking about this project, so I will only yes. copy the Definitely, this. sir. We have to think about it. Right. And, uh, and uh, finally, RA is also a buffer for the Sanjay Gandhi National Park. So, you know, uh, it's a low-intensity development area. So there is a great... You know, whether it's a forest or not is a legal debate. Uh, but we must remember that RA provides very important ecosystem services to the city, whether it's uh, population of water, whether it's factory. Uh, for that purpose, uh, it has to be any any project that you think about in an area like this has to be very carefully considered and only if it does not affect wildlife, it does not affect the ecosystem services. Uh, uh, should it be considered uh, to be taken forward? So, basically, one point I want to answer about that about uh, the Scardico being a floodplain. This issue was also raised in court. We have submitted a case which has been updated by the court. The point is, you said rightly that. Uh, this, if this is considered as a floodplain, then uh, the water discharge, which from this area, which happens to the river. But as far as metro car shed is concerned, that is not going to impact that. The reason being, uh, almost 75, 80 percent of car shed area is basically to absorb uh, water. I didn't water. say. Though I didn't say it, it, it's a floodplain. I said it's a catchment. So it's. Uh, uh, the the yeah, case was about floodplain. Yeah, that was. Our stand is it is catchment. And today also, in that uh, that particular piece of land, how the water is discharged, there are already stormwater drains in that water. It is not j just from the the land it is going uh, to river. There are stormwater drains even in that land because that is anyway grazing land. So what we have done, the, those stormwater drains have only been taken on the border with the wider uh, capacity as per the Brimstone had plan. So this particular car depot. In this catchment, it is not at all affecting the discharging capacity of the water of that area. Besides, what is cardio? There is some concrete construction. The pavement, whatever we will do, that is only to the extent of 25%. 75% area is the soil, which is going to absorb water. It is going to take that water because the water is fully channelized through this long water drain. So there is absolutely all these things have been thought through because the first uh, first entity who would get affected by water logging is metro and we can't afford to uh, do that and that is why whatever planning we have done has been meticulously done so the point of view is that this being a cash material is already taken into account when planning is done. Great, thank you ma'am for giving the explanation on this. The BKC point he made can she answer that? He made a point about the BKC. Can you answer that? BKC, that is one point which is raised there, but another point, uh, please understand, that commercial area is equally important because that is what has been funding all infrastructure projects in Mumbai till Second point is BKC is again at the center of the alignment, in the middle of the alignment. So, Cardeco, you see in Cardeco, in Delhi, in any other city, they are generally at terminal location so that because every day the operations start from that area. So if you have a cardio in between, from 25 meters, you come up, you create a ramp, again you go down, you create another ramp. So in BKC, we can't disturb that whole area in this manner. So generally, cardio are avoided 
in the middle of the alignment. They are at the either uh, end of the alignment. So this is how this is. That's, that's not true. Yeah, we'll come to the center of the <coughs> Your vocal against the over ground metro from quite a few years. What is the reason and why you are? Because we should have underground metro. Um, this has been um, discussed by practically every uh, engineer, and even by Chandrasekhar in Delhi. Sri in, in, in Delhi and so on. And we really don't have enough roads in Bombay. And then we find all of a sudden that we've got Andheri Kula Road ruined totally by the uh, metro. If it had been an underground metro, it would have been amazing because the road would have been there, the, uh, the, it would have taken probably more passengers and so on. Right now it takes uh, 45 minutes to cross from the south to the north, or the north to the south, are uh, the Andheri Kula Road. If you want to go to uh, uh, Caves and so on, or, or uh, Markali Caves Road, then it, you, you have a difficult job. So, yes, we, we have been very much against the uh, overground metro. We had been promised that it would be an underground metro, and we underst understood that this was the case. Um, with the previous government, even after this government came into power, we understood that it was going to be an underground metro. At least for the SB road and here, I mean, we are absolutely proud of We have just the SB road, and um, that's, that's it. And if you call our road outside a, a road which is a connecting road, I mean, a main So here, in this part of Bombay, we are really very badly off for north-south uh, connectivity. And um, to have this uh, metro in the middle of the SP road has been a great disappointment. Um, we talk about plans. Yes, we have very good plans. EP plan of 1990. We had uh, a road coming from Carter Road going over some slums or whatever and coming on the Gustavan Road or Garage Road or whatever it is you like to call it. You want to say the water of the metro, the especially on the SP road, yeah. has to be underground. I think all metros in Bombay have to be underground because we don't have any metros. You can go to Thani and I was there yesterday. You go to the wide roads. You, you, you look at the Telam Road, which is the road from yeah. uh, Dada to yeah, that's why I'm saying it's such a good thing like to advertise properly before the commitment so the citizens can take the part in it. I mean, even now in Bombay, even in South Bombay, you travel around, you've got the, the underground metro coming, which is welcome. We don't mind suffering because of that. But we we can see light at the end of the tunnel, but for us here in the suburbs, you, you can't see any light. And I think basic planning is, is, is wanting. I mean, I was just talking about the uh, Carter Road, 120 foot road, which does the back road, going into Relief Road, going underneath the uh, new aerodrome, and, and, and catching up with the 10th Road, and the first road, there would have been two. That was a beautiful plan, but nobody did it. I mean, what, what, this is the problem. You, uh, and then you have, um, but planning, where is planning? We're not planning for Bombay. We're, we're allowing slums to come up anywhere and everywhere. We, we, we need people from Bom to come to Bombay to work. So then we must provide proper housing for them. And that housing doesn't have to be owned. It has to be rented. We must have rented property in Bombay. We should be able to come up from out of Bombay, keep our house wherever we come from, and be able to rent a place. Bombay rent rules and regulations are so crazy that people will not rent a property. And uh, so we 
people have no other option but to get together with what you know very well who I'm talking about. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. We will really give the right for the slums as well as the planning which is actually misplanned by the metro. So thank you so much. Well, I do think that we do have to sacrifice sometimes for our um, infrastructure. And as far as the underground metro is concerned, I guess I will uh, the 30 or the acres that you're getting. We just finished. सारा इंडिया बॉलीवुड को देखता है और आज के टाइम में बॉलीवुड में इन्वायरमेंट एक फैशन हो चुका है कि बेसिकली बॉलीवुड स्कीनी बर्स जैकेट्स गैजेट्स सब कुछ यूज करता है एसी वेंटल लार्जी जो अभी बताया गया कि जो एरियाज में सूट हो रहा है आने का जो फिल्म सिटी बोलते हैं वहाँ पे जितने केमिकल शूटिंग में यूज हो रहे हैं उसका राइट डिस्पोजल नहीं होता तो आपको नहीं लगता कि इट बिकॉज ओनली अ फैशन टैग इंस्टेड ऑफ रियली द बॉलीवुड कम्स टू द ग्राउंड फीलो फॉर एनवायरमेंट आई डोंट अग्री विद यू लेकिन मैं यहां पर नहीं हूं आई डोंट अग्री विद यू तो आई डोंट अग्री विद यू तो मेरे जो भी कॉलीग्स हैं ऑल माय कॉलीग्स आई नो ऑल ऑफ पीपल प्रॉब्लम पीपल डोंट टॉक अबाउट इट बट दे आर डेफिनेटली दे बिलीव इन व्हाट इज गोइंग ऑन in our in our country in our city in our world when climate change is concerned people are being very conscious and they are doing a lot of things which are probably not coming across agar aap social media dekh rahe ho to bahut sare log baat bhi kar rahe hain is 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 ke upar mere khud ki my own niece she was a part of this hari uh, kum she went and protested because she believes in it she has also turned vegan which is not really talking about So there are a lot of people who are doing a lot of things. Maybe the press has picked it up, or people are not coming forth because you know a lot of these questions are asked, uncomfortable questions are asked, which I, with due respect to her, for coming and she's of course facing a lot of things. But I would like to say other things also from what you asked me, which might sound a little repetitive because a lot of people on on this stage have already said things and. Uh, I have come here for a very strong reason, as you said, Bollywood does not do this, that, whatever. I have come here because I want people to hear me out, and a lot of people, I would say, uh, majority of people, are frightened, worried as to what is going on in our city. Development is good. We do not, we do not not want development. We are not against metro. We want metro to come. We want to get on time. We want our staff to come on time. I mean, of course, I also want to go on metro. I did, in fact. I went to Hatpur on the metro. I wanted to experience it. I was so proud. I got a little scared, <laughs> so I didn't go back. But uh, we all want metro to happen. But my whole point is, if we are cutting one tree, twenty trees, fifty trees, or hundred trees, where is this going to stop? As you said, if the house. Okay, we sold that house. We had a beautiful vacation home in Pune. My parents used to go and used to see Mumbai. It's quite nice, isn't it? Like the Ghat Haleli, you know. After it because it because our local young people, this I'm talking about 20 years back. So we used to go to Pune on holidays, vacations. In fact, my parents forced me to go to Pune. Pune, it's quite nice, quite Haleli, isn't it? So we had a beautiful house in Aud, and it was so secluded. There was a forest area behind, like lots of trees. I wouldn't say forest, sorry. The lots of trees, and I used to get scared to come down. It was so beautiful, so peaceful. We used to go there every year. One fine day, all the trees were cut, and buildings and buildings and buildings. We stopped going there. We sold that house. We went somewhere else where we found more trees, you know, and just went on and on. So when I go back to that area now, it's a complete jungle. So when stop we are not against development we want development with consciousness with the proper with proper soul we see what is happening in uh, of course are in there's a lot of uh, construction that happened there there are animals that are getting into societies 
Why are they getting into societies? Because we've taken over their land. They're going to look for food and then suddenly we are threatened by them. Isko pakdo, usko maro, usko zoom in on them. Tiye matta kya hoya? This is absolutely unacceptable. I have a little girl. She's four and a half years old. I have come here today to fight for her right. I don't want her to tell me 15, 20 years from now, why did you bring me to this earth? It's damaged. So I have come here for that. And I don't agree with you that Bollywood <laughs> is not conscious. There are a lot of things that Bollywood is doing. It's just that. Because you see the glamour side of it, you're not seeing the other conscious side of it. In fact, I am doing something now uh, in this month itself where I'm curating a lot of you know, people who are making homegrown things, who are into organic products. I am actually, it's, it's a tough thing that I'm doing because uh, it's literally becoming like a charity thing. But I'm trying to do my bit in my own way. So I really request that the right people do the right thing to bring about the change. Climate change is for real. You step out right now, it was raining. It's raining, I think. It's for real. And just yesterday, I was so frightened reading this article in Times of India that the sea levels are rising. It's not going to be single out, you know, I mean, people who are doing these developments or whatever, unko affect yeni mata unko yeni mana chiti hai, or whatever. Everybody is going to be affected by it. Mumbai is not going to be a city to live in in the next 15 20 years if this continues. You see, development, what is happening? Here, water logging is going bridges are going to be built, people are going to be built. Development is going to be built. Because it is bridges are going to be built, water logging is going to be built, people are going to be The city comes to a standstill. And what is happening? We are losing crores of rupees. We pass out of office repair or reconstruction. What is happening? What is happening? I am completely against one tree also cutting from here on. I want to fight for it. I'll stand. I will all stand. mature tree, the carbon that is stored, that is one of the functions of a forest by the way, the carbon that is stored in that tree is released and it gets into this whole vicious circle of climate change. So imagine if you are cutting 100 these trees or 200 trees, you are putting that carbon back into the atmosphere which is affecting you, affecting the people around, affecting the city, the country, the world. And one more thing I want to say, we need to plant a trillion trees and I want to be a part of the campaign by MD. We need to plant a trillion trees to curb or reverse climate change. It's extremely important. I hope everyone takes this seriously because these small changes are going to make a difference and I really hope everyone participates in this and everyone understands where we are going ahead from here and takes the right decision. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. I am happy to prove me wrong because uh, really Bollywood is a part of our daily life, at least in India, I know. But, only sir, you have Bollywood ko entertainment, entertainment, entertainment. Nahi the, you touch a lot of subject which is really touching the heart of the people. If you have a such topic that we are developing in daily life, different government development, personal development, private development, with that, we are dying daily in Mumbai, in the train, in the traffic, and in that. So how do you balance this, both the development and the environment? Because these are both sides of the argument. And how do you balance it? I think it's a question of, you know, how you look at it. Perspective. When I was listening to the discussions, 
when Ashwini Ji, when we were talking about it, and we were talking about the necessity of the city, housing, travel, various things. But what was missing is the forest or the trees. You know, that is not something that is a necessity, you know. And what was earlier mentioned is now in this entire scheme, human necessity is much more than what the world, what the nature, what the animal, what the fish, what the ocean, anyone else needs. Our need becomes the focus. I, you know, when you lay examples of Tokyo, London, whatever, number of trees, I come from a place, I'm born and brought up in Bhutan. Yeah, I'm where, and that's why I'm talking of how you look at things is we have grown up thinking that if you have to make a house and there's a tree and we actually did when we were finally building our house in Canada there was a tree right in the middle of the land and we did not think of to cut the tree and make the house but how to make the tree a part of the house we have stopped looking at, you know, we are like, we are talking of Delhi, right? The Delhi has such a great ecosystem, system. But Delhi, where is the pollution come down? Everything we are talking of, look at the, you know, so, I mean, of course, again, I'm not again the metro. I, you know, one of the things that anybody related to films is constantly attacked in social media is, oh, you are trapped. So the first thing I see is I got rid of my car in 2000. I only travel by public transport, but that does not mean that I look down for anybody who takes up from private transport. But this city, you know, when we have the metro, which we need the metro, but at the same time, is it doing anything parallel to support other modes of transport? I love walking, but the pavements are becoming shorter, smaller and smaller. It's actually parallelly supporting the automobile industry, so that when you are increasing the roadside, you are not thinking of cycling tracks, you are not thinking of that more people can walk. So the number of cars is going to keep increasing, you know, because our population is increasing. So what the number of people traveling by metro will be obviously 40 lakhs or whatever, because the population by then another 20 years will be also much more. So how is it really, you know, not at the core? You know, at the core of the problem, do we really look at the fact that why do everybody, why do more and more people need to come to the city? What are we doing out there? So that why don't we create more sustainable places, smaller places that people don't need to come for life? We would be only here. Yeah. You know, so I feel we're never looking, we're just looking at the surface and not where the real problem is. And in this entire thing, the biggest mute spectator which suffers is our nature. Thank you. Uh, you have a explanation, sir. Now, the finally, before going for the question and answer, I will. Last uh, question to my sir, and then we'll open the forum. Everything is there for human need, but the grid is increasing and increasing and increasing continuously. So, sorry question, sir, you have to ask. If you are Gandhi Ji, what do you say? Thank you.
So we are going to go through hell and I am not exaggerating. And especially I am looking at the youngsters and seeing हम तो समझो निकल के जाएंगे इनकी लाइफ कैसे होगी तो ये सब प्रोटेस्ट ये सब इश्यूज आर ऑल वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन फोर्थ प्लेस पर मैं तो एक करोड़ जाट लगाने वाला हूं क्योंकि मैं क्लाइमेट क्राइसिस के अगेंस्ट मुझे फाइट करना है ये सब इश्यूज हम डेमोक्रेसी के ऊपर छोड़ देते हैं थैंक यू सो मच सर